Let's bring in Scott Reed, CTV News political analyst, former communications director for then Liberal Prime Minister Paul Martin. Okay, so you heard what Justin Trudeau had to say. Uh, initial reaction to that? I thought it was pretty uneven. I, I, you know, for such an important day and such an important report, I think, you know, Jagmeet Singh might have had the crispest, clearest response of all three party leaders. I, 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 I thought that the prime minister had a sharp, probably wise answer in the middle of that news conference. Mm -hmm. At one point, he said, I take responsibility for this, right? We made a mistake. The way we handled this was wrong. Here's a bunch of things we're going to do differently. I thought that was the right answer. I thought that what he started with was a bit convoluted, trying to explain to us about a whole set of institutional uh, precedents, uh, talking about the fact that he disagreed with the ethics commissioner but accepted the ethics commissioner's uh, findings. That sounds, frankly, like a polluted and confusing message. So I just, and then at the end, you know, again, he got off on to other tangents. I, I think the crisper answer would have been the right answer. And I think the prime minister really gave us a lot to choose from. You know, the guys in the edit suite are going to have their work cut out for them tonight. Why not just come out and say, I'm sorry? I, you know, because I don't think he, I, and, 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 and this is not not necessarily an illegitimate stance on his part. If he wants to suffer the consequences of it, be what they may. But he does not believe that he acted inappropriately when, according to the ethics commissioner, he acted inappropriately. You know what I mean? He simply mm. does not want to apologize for that. He's been steadfast in that, and he's been, and he repeated it again today. His line of argumentation fundamentally hasn't changed. It is, look, I asked questions of my attorney general and justice minister, and I was permitted to do that because I was anxious about the impact on jobs, and I wanted to ensure that whatever decision was taken, those considerations were weighed. And, you know, he's maintained that position all along, and he's just simply not willing to back off of it. So how do you square that and reconcile it with, I take responsibility? What does taking responsibility mean? I mean, ultimately, I think the wash of all this, Todd, is, you know, people are going to get to vote in October. And I think that the Liberals are betting that people will vote on a whole variety of issues and they'll find the Liberal offering superior to the Conservative. And I think the Conservatives are hoping and betting that this issue will stick to the Prime Minister, will cause ongoing corrosive brand damage and give them an opportunity to come out ahead. So in terms of sort of raw political calculus, uh, better on the 14th of August than the 14th of September. And also the idea, perhaps they're gambling and saying, this is not going to really matter at the end of the day, that it's already baked into the way people see Justin Trudeau, and they may have other issues they're concerned about, like pocketbook issues. Right. I, I don't know if I want to ascribe that to them. That's my view. Right. right? And my, my, my honest view is, as serious as this report is, as damaging as this issue has been, months of brand damage to the prime minister, not well handled in terms of a response in the winter months. I don't think it was terribly crisp today. But on balance, I think... People will already have factored in the SNC Lavalin issue when they come to vote. So I don't believe that Andrew Scheer, the Conservatives, will be able to take this report and keep it salient and keep it in the news for the next six weeks to when we get to the beginning of the election so they then can carry it forward for another six weeks to the day that people vote. I just, maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think they're going to be able to make this a referendum election on snc Lavalin. You worked in political communications for a long time. So do you think the argument now, and we heard it a little bit from the prime minister, and he said it before, too. Right. I'm not going to make any apologies for standing up for Canadian jobs, Canadian companies, Canadian champions. I was doing what I thought was right. The idea was to protect jobs. This kind of message. We're going to more or less hear that uh, when this issue comes up. My view... As I, I'm not certain that that's the right approach. I think a superior approach would be pluck from that other portion of his news conference. Where you say, you know what? This is my responsibility. We messed this thing up. We screwed this thing up four, five, six different ways. And I'm the one that bears responsibility for that. And here are the four things I'm going to do to demonstrate my responsibility and that I'm going to correct that and not permit it to happen again. I think, you know, cause, effect, take responsibility. That would be a crisper message, but fundamentally, they're not going to alter their position.